Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, I'm going to be showing you all if you have a soft modded original Xbox, how you can update the soft mod software on here. Now, this is exclusively going to be for the Rocky 5 soft mod. If you have an older soft mod, such as Sid 5, if you want to upgrade from that, I do have a video showing how you can upgrade from an older soft mod over to Rocky 5, which is going to be the more modern and stable one. However, as the Xbox soft modding tool from Rocky 5 is still being updated pretty regularly, there might be times you might want a new update on your soft mod. I'll have this of course linked down below in the description, but you can check the changes over on the GitHub repository, and if you check these, for example, at the time of recording, this is the latest version 1.2.0, but for example, 1.2.0. 1.1.9 had several different changes here, so if there's ever anything here that you might be interested in, let's say you have an older build from 2019 and you might want to update to a 2024 build, you're more than welcome to do that. This doesn't change the actual applications that are installed, this just updates the actual soft mod itself. And on the console, if you want to see the exact version that you might be running, if you're running Unleash X, you could go down to System, go to the Skin section, go to the soft mod section and enable that. And once it is enabled, you can check this out here. You can see the Xbox soft mod info. I'm currently running version 1.1.9. So I'm going to upgrade mine personally to 1.2.0. But let me go ahead and go back to the default skin just because that is the one that I like. And there we go. So in order to do this, we are going to need a few things. We're first going to need our soft modded Xbox running the Rocky 5 Xbox soft modding tool. We are going to need to connect it to our local network because you can see in the bottom right hand corner, my IP address address is showing, so we are going to be connecting through FTP to transfer some files over, and you are going to need a computer to download the update package that we will need. You can go to the Xbox soft modding tool GitHub repository, and down below here, you can click on the download pre-built versions download link. Once you're inside of here, this should show the latest build which is available, which will probably be something later at the time you are watching this, but you can go over to the installer variants folder. And you're going to want to download the quick update zip file. You can just click on this and then you can click on the download button here or you can click on the download button here, really whichever will work for you. As long as you're able to download this zip file and save it somewhere you can easily find it, that is what we need. Secondly, we will need a FTP client to transfer over the extracted files. So for this, I'm personally going to be using WinSCP. Over at your computer, once you have this downloaded, you can go ahead, right click, and extract this out right here. It should give you a folder called quick update and a readme.txt, which we can go ahead and give that readme a quick once over. As you can see, it shows the instructions which we are going to be following here. So with that noted, let's go ahead and close out of this and fire up WinSCP. From here, you can create a new remote tab. And inside this, we're going to make it FTP, no encryption. Go ahead, punch in your IP address for your Xbox. Port number will be 21. And then the username, will be Xbox and the password will be the exact same. Go ahead and get logged in. And once you're here, navigate into the E directory and right here next to the applications, backups and all of this, you're going to grab the quick update folder and drag and drop it in here. So you're just going to let it upload. Give it a few seconds to do that and you should have your quick update right there. With that transferred over, let's go ahead and close out of WinSCP. And now let's move back over to the console. Once you're over at the console, you're going to want to go to the file manager. So mine will be under system, file explorer, go to the E drive, go over to quick update and go down to defaults.xbe and tap the A button to launch it. Once it launches, as you can see, this is a newer installer and you just need to tap the A button to update and give it a few moments to go through the update process. Now at the end, it still backs up your EEPROM and puts it in the E backups EEPROM folder. You can tap A to say that you understand, and that is okay, we still understand that. And at this point now, it is going to restart the Xbox, so just tap the A button yet again to restart. Here we go, it is giving us a message that it's updating the dashboard files, so just give it a few moments and let it do its thing. Once it is all done, after a bit, you should come back to this page here, in which this is running the soft mod skin. But as you can see, we are now running version 1.2.0, which is newer than the previous build we were running. If you do need to change this, like you're using Unleash X, just go into System, 
go to skins and you can choose something a little more familiar such as this one here so as you can see we are all good to go here now i do need to tweak one more thing here which is going to be the settings video display we are going to have to set that here to 720p if we want that save and we can restart our console. So there we go, that is all there is to it. As you can see, it just took one transfer and a couple minutes of your time, but you now have the latest version of the Rocky 5 soft mod running. One nice detail as well too, is just want to highlight this. If you check out the file explorer and go to the E drive, check it out. The application has already cleaned itself up. So thanks to Rocky, you don't even need to delete anything from here. It already deleted itself. So we should be all good to go at this point. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. If you enjoyed it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. But as I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.